right, here's the bottle set up. I just got the hose running from the heater back up around there. And then I just have a partial bottle that's screwed to the to the regulator sitting on the floorboard up in the front spare bottle here. Both these bottles are pretty close to empty, so I don't know how long that bottle's going to last. But I'm going to fire up the heater and uh, we'll climb inside and have a look. I don't know if my camera was on earlier, but let me show you the outside air temperature. If you can see it, 40 degrees outside in the shade. Not too cold, but it's overcast and kind of cloudy today. Looks like it could snow. The sun's trying to peek through here a little bit. And then here's where I have the heater. I just have it sitting on the floor on its stand. And <clears throat> anyway, I got it set up right there, kind of sitting in the center of the van. And uh, let's fire it up and see what happens. Oh, let's see. I got a thermometer hanging right here, and this one's harder to read. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's also showing basically the same as the outside air temperature, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, this is like the only second time I've fired this heater up, so let's fire it up and see what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it run for about 15 minutes. I'm going to come back and uh, turn the camera back on and we'll check it out. So it's in the start off position. And I think I got to use two hands. Let me see if I can set this down. Hopefully you guys can see that. So push in. And it's been uh, quite a while since I've read the instructions so wish me luck. Can hear the gas coming on and then we'll push this in it starts a pilot light <clears throat> there's a thermal coupler right there by the pilot light so i have to hold this in for about 30 seconds long enough for that thermal coupler to warm up so i can let go and if i do it right hopefully the thing will start all right there it goes no. Nope. Try it again. All right, guys. I'm coming. I'm coming up on uh, nine minutes. I read the instructions. <laughs> it's amazing how much that helps. Um, and the instructions said that uh, I hold the. I put it in the start position. Hold it in for approximately 10 seconds to allow the gas to flow and then hit the starter button. And then this is called, that. it's not a pilot light, it's called the flame spreader. As the fuel starts to go into the matting, the spreader will ignite the fuel that's within the catalytic, catalytic mat. And then, uh, and then the thing is actually started. And that should only take about, um, what's it say, 30 seconds. <clears throat> Hold the button for about one minute and then quickly release it and turn it to the high position and the, the furnace has started. So the first couple of times I actually had it started and didn't realize it. Uh, it says to run it on high for 10 minutes to evenly light the matting and then you can turn it to low. So I've got it on high now. I'm going to put it on low. It's been 10 minutes. So low position, it's putting out a lot of heat and um, 10 minutes, what do we got here on the temperature, 50 degrees, so in 10 minutes we increased, I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can, increased 10 degrees inside the van and it's, it, it feels comfortable. I also moved the heater as you can see. I moved it up onto that little uh, pedestal thing there, that storage box that I built. I also have some sun coming through the windows, so that's 
that's also, I'm sure, helping increase the temperature in here. But 50 degrees. I'm going to let this thing run. I might just let it run till that tank is empty, see how long it'll go. The, I shook the can, and it felt like it was pretty empty to start with. So I don't know how long it's going to run. But also, to run these heaters, you have to have some ventilation. So I've got this window here on the side. It opens about, oh, maybe an inch, inch and a half at the bottom and then gradually gets a little bit less at the top. And that window is about two feet by two feet. I've got that open. And then in the back, I've opened up the the fantastic fan. And again, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I just raised it up. It's open about an inch on the uh, high side of the of the fan vent cover and I can I can feel a little air coming through there so we've got the side window and then the vent up here open and we'll see how that does I'm just gonna let this run for a while what what's happening is we're gonna be taking the van and a trailer load of uh, our belongings to Iowa here uh, Monday and I suspect that we're going to be encountering some cold nights and cold weather, so I want to try this heater out before we hit the road and see how it does. Now, uh, I'll have to again review the instructions, but I think the clearances were four inches on each side. I probably have yeah, about four on each side zero on the floor or four inches on the floor <clears throat> but when it's sitting on this stand it puts it at an angle that sets it correctly for whatever you have it setting on and then 18 inches above <clears throat> i've probably got about three feet there so uh, plenty of clearance i don't feel anything getting warm actually the side of the cooler is getting a little bit warm turn it just a little bit i don't feel any heat on the side of the chair and that's cold down there so I noticed I can touch the sides of the heater the metal backing that that is cool to the touch and I can almost hold my hand on this screen but definitely not on the front because I can feel the heat I can feel the heat clear out here and I'm about two and a half three feet away from it um, it's supposed to be a radiant heat, and I'm sure it's hot on top. Not the metal backing, but I can feel the heat coming right off of the the mat for sure. All right, let's go back one more time and look at the thermometer. It's been, uh, yeah, we're coming up on 15 minutes now since I lit it, and I have turned it down to to a cool the the low setting. And hopefully you guys can see that, but it looks to me like it's about 55 degrees inside the van. 55. And that's kind of... Uh, ther thermometer's probably foot and a half off of the floor there. Where I got that thermometer hanging. I'm sure it's warmer up higher that, the higher you get. But I can definitely feel the heat. And it's quite comfortable in here. Let me walk out to the back. We'll look at the outside air temperature thermometer one more time. And I'm just going to let that thing run for a little bit. Of course, I'm going to lose a little bit of heat opening the door. Sun's shining outside now. And the clouds are dissipating. And it's warming up out here. It's showing about uh, 42, 43 degrees outside at the back of the van so that's not really cold not too cold we could probably be just fine in sleeping bags with that temperature but we'll let that run for a while and i'll come back and uh, let you guys know what i think yeah, it's only been a couple minutes but i also thought maybe i'd show you if i could a little better picture view of the side window and how that's cracked open on the uh, passenger side. Now I do have about a three foot window that I could crack open on the driver's side. 
that would give even more ventilation but I think that's going to be plenty and that in conjunction with uh, with the fantastic vent and it's open about that much there so that's a pretty good that's a pretty good hole and that's quite a bit of air I think we'll be in good shape all right talk to you after a bit all right guys I'm back again it's been uh, 25 minutes and outside temperature 44 degrees roughly on the back bumper let's hop up inside and see what happens see what see what's going on the vans not burned down yet or anything so that's good news heater feels like it's still going and inside the temperature inside the van about 58 and I know that this thermometer doesn't pick up very well with the camera but take my word for it it's uh what I say 58 yeah it's about 58 sneaking up on 60 degrees um, vent is open and the top vent is open and I can see I don't know if you can see it on the camera but the bottom area here is kind of glowing red a little bit but I can definitely feel the heat coming off of it so cool it's not a over over a long period of time test but uh, it's a it's a pretty good test, I think. Let's see if it's going to work. Let's see what we got around it. No heat there, nothing burning. I can just barely feel a little bit of little bit of heat, not much. Just on that metal piece, I'm sure this is Well, it's not bad either. I can touch that all the way down the side. same thing on this side I can I mean I can feel a little bit of heat but nothing on the back piece a little bit a little bit warmer across the top definitely heat coming out right by that grate and that grill the face is cool cool to the touch the feet and everything nice and cool just a tiny bit of heat on the edge of the cooler but heck it's been hotter than that in the sun so <clears throat> I think we're in good shape I think I can park that baby right there when we're camping out <clears throat> staying at a Walmart or a truck stop or rest stop or something and uh, I don't know what the temperature is up here higher I can feel I can feel the temperature and the heat on my face a little bit as I sit up sit up on the bed so anyway there you go guys um, <clears throat> hope that'll uh, help some of you out a little bit if you're thinking about this Olympian wave 3 heater I, I think it's gonna be a, a good deal and I think it's gonna work just fine for the van I will definitely be taking some videos and putting up some videos of our trip hauling that trailer full of personal items out there <clears throat> to our new house in Iowa and I uh, hope you guys join along on the ride it is Christmas Day and so Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody out there hope you're all doing well and I um, guess that's it so Merry Christmas and be safe out there, guys. Take care.